Yes, I got my claws on the brand new MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16 gig Vanguard Lounge Edition. Yeah, baby. And just have a look at this thing. Just have a look at that. This thing is awesome looking. It's beautiful. But let me put it down because I can see I'm making you guys very nervous. So this thing was designed with the concept of aerospace engineering in mind, as I said. And yes, I do like the look of it, but damn, this thing is going to need a hanger of a PC case for it to fit basically into. Remember guys, when you're buying a new GPU, make sure your case is big enough. Otherwise, you're going to have to budget extra for that. And I think most of us will have to budget for a new PC case that's a little bit larger than, than the one that all that I currently have. But enough about that. We know it looks pretty and there isn't a lot MSI can do wrong when it comes to design. They always hit the mark. The question is, how does it perform compared to the previous generation 4080s? Especially when Nvidia said, and I quote, the new range can outclass their previous gen counterparts with twice the performance. How they plan to do that though, especially when they were very intently bragging about how awesome the pricing will be compared to how much performance you'll get out of it i don't know so let's go have a little looksy poo and see what we can find well what, what what can you do sir what can you do i should probably put it on its back in play let's put it like that 17 percent performance increase overall performance increase compared to to the previous gen that does not look like double the performance on previous generations. Not even close, eh? Hey, sure. I mean, okay, so what's the problem then? The problem is that there is no real problem. As far as I can figure out, the new RTX 5080 isn't an upgrade in performance, but rather an upgrade in how they approach the same tasks by just doing it in a very different way. That's the problem most diehard PC geeks will have with this specific graphics card. The hardware itself without any gimmicks should be the thing propelling it forward and in this case the raw capabilities of this card without DLSS4 or ray tracing activated can barely be called an, an upgrade. I read the term side grade and, and it explains it a little bit more accurately. So what the heck is the hype about then? Well it's about the tensor cores versus the CUDA cores at least from my ground level point of view and how these process data specifically what type of data they prefer to handle you see CUDA cores can do anything really well unlike tensor cores that can do a very few select operations amazingly well CUDA cores take workload away from tensor cores and the other way around as well it just makes for a more efficient GPU now let's talk tensor cores we all have a basic grasp of what CUDA cores do and what they are. So it's basically not as important to explain what they do, but basically tensor cores do AI operations really well as they were intently designed to do those tasks. And it's not just a program that you'll need to activate. It's a physical network of cores specifically optimized for deep learning operations like matrix multipl multiplication, multi matrix multiplication content creator, making them significantly faster for AI and machine learning workloads compared to CUDA cores, which offer broader fle flexibility across various computing tasks. And this is where twice the performance claims come in. Not, not like, not it's real, it's just quoted, that's how you show quotes. But anyway, this is where the claims of twice the performance comes in. When we did our benchmarks test with the MSI RTX 5080 without ray tracing or DLSS4, then we got that very meh 17% performance increase. But when you enable ray tracing and DLSS4 though, the picture literally becomes a lot clearer, okay? Then those claims of twice the performance starts looking like they might be the real deal. That is if the game you're playing supports ray tracing or DLSS4. And that is where the diehard PC gigs may have a really good point though for them this card is far from an upgrade people using these cards for bitcoin mining or to run very complex molecular model simulations or tasks that just have a lot of data from even more data points will absolutely love this card because it is specifically optimized for exactly those types of operations but now what does that mean for for you yeah what, what does it mean for you I don't know. No, I didn't know. I do know. 
just just listen. Well, uh, bragging rights. You can say you have the latest, awesomest looking MSI RTX 5080 Vanguard Launch Edition graphics card that came with a limited edition MSI Around the World Collectible, which is just a cool touch that doesn't really mean anything, but it does make your unboxing experience that much more memorable. And if you're a sentimental bloke like I am, like I proudly am, you always enjoy a collectible. Yes, I do. Anyway, for gamers that play these high-end games with DLSS4 and ray tracing capabilities, they will definitely see a performance difference. But if you're running a 1490, then there really is not as much of a reason as we all initially thought to get that, that side grade. It just doesn't seem necessary at this point. But the world doesn't just use GPUs for games, and the RTX 5080 shines in its versatility especially with the focus being on AI and deep learning operations. In that case, it should be a strong consideration. A really strong one. Other notable upgrades worth mentioning is cooling. The MSI RTX 50 AC 80 uses core pipes that are squared shaped for maximum heat capture. A built-in vapor chamber that absorbs the heat and dissipates it as quickly as possible to those core pipes. Fin shapes that enhance air pressure, reduces noise and spins on durable double ball bearings for extended lifespan to unleash unparalleled cooling efficiency with airflow designed to yet again reduce even more noise and increase efficiency that even more. And on top of that, a lot of the internal components have been upgraded as well. For example, more fuses for improved electrical safeguards, thicker copper plates for better heat dissipation and conductivity, and the general use of better materials throughout each and every component just enhances, yet again, efficiency, cooling elements, all of those stuff. It's just a new gen card. Of, of course, it's gonna be a lot better in a lot of the smaller facets that nobody really talks about and I'm not clever enough to talk about, but I'm trying to. But anyway, here's some of the numbers though. The RTX 5080 uses NVIDIA's latest Blackwell architecture with 10,752 CUDA cores, those general purpose cores, spread across 84 streaming multiprocessors versus the 9,728 cores in the RTX 4080. It has 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory on a 256-bit bus. NVIDIA says it can deliver 1,801 tops in AI performance through Tensor Cores and 171 teraflops of ray tracing performance using its RT cores. <laughs> Got you there on that one, didn't I? <laughs> Pair all of the above with MSI Afterburner, the world's leading overclocking software, along with MSI Center that incorporates AI tuning that intelligently adjusts your system to meet AI oriented requirements and round that off with MSI App Player developed under in an exclusive partnership with Bluestacks, creating a seamless experience between mobile gaming and PC gaming. We all wanted that, right? All of that together, you get a GPU that's aimed at the future. A new generation of GPUs that leave the old ways behind, focused on efficiency by spreading out the workload to specific cores designed to handle very specific tasks, or at least that is how I interpreted it from all of the marketing materials and research I did. It is an upgrade worth making if you're running anything less than a previous gen 1490, but more of a side grade if you have the RTX 1490 already. So what's your take? All I know is it looks awesome with fully customizable RGB lights, that very futuristic looking metal backplate, and it definitely is better than the three gig 1060 I'm currently running. So please pray. <laughs> so it definitely blew my mind and it will blow your mind too. Just don't talk to 1490 people. Hey, you, shut up. If you want to go and check out an even more detailed review, go to my buddy's YouTube page, We Do Tech. There, Stefan will take you through the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16 gig in a lot more detail than I did. Meanwhile, a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated and leaving a comment is always lovely, as always. Until next time, I'm Ruben von Steen from Dryscape on my way to make a brand new video for next week. Cheers, people. And, and here's the lucky thing. Look how cool that is. I freaking awesome. And this box though. I mean, this box. That's what you get. Isn't that the coolest thing? Just like, yeah. Love it. And wait, wait, there's more. There is more. It comes wrapped in this thing. 
comes wrapped in this massive thing that you like unbox and you rip a thing off and then it comes off and then it gives like, like that was the front and then there's the back you get the idea they did all went through a lot of trouble to entertain you people so flippin don't moan about the unboxing okay don't moan about stuff so much like chill a little bit okay i'm actually going to do a new video okay bye